So I just wanted to do a quick video about my top pens of 2018. These aren't the best pens or the newest pens or anything like that. These are just the pens I tend to grab and the pens that I use the most in 2018. Just wanted to run through them quickly. If you watch this channel all the time, it might be a little dull because all of these have been featured fairly prominently, but here goes. I'll start off with the Twisby Eco. It's a really great fountain pen. And if I'm picking up a fountain pen, nine times out of 10, this is the one I'm going for. I really like that it's $30. It's a smooth writer. I have it in the uh, broad, which I think is just a lot of fun to use day to day. I'll be using it with this Krishna Sailors ink, and it's a perfect combination. Just, just a great pen, a lot of value. I don't have to worry about it. Very reliable and uh, something I could leave at the office and not have to think twice about. Twisby Eco. Next up, we have this. This is the Platinum Preppy, and you can see I have it converted to a eyedropper. That way I get a lot of ink in it. And I did a lot of eyedropper conversions this year and none of them cracked. They all did really well. Actually, one of them cracked, uh, but it didn't spill any place important. And uh, I buy these in bulk in the, see if that comes out, in the 0.5 millimeter, which is medium, which is a really nice, really smooth fountain pen. These bodies cost about $3. With the conversion, it costs maybe $3.15. And then I uh, do an eyedropper conversion and you get, I don't know, maybe three and a half milliliters in there, something like that. And it's good for a very long time. And when it runs out of ink, you could uh, refill it, but more often than not, the pen is shot and I just throw it in the garbage. Uh, usually I have them labeled just because I have so many of them and so many inks, uh, but these work really great. Uh, I use these, uh, fairly often. I guess I exaggerated when I said I use this to be going nine times out of 10. That's more like a, maybe a six out of 10. And then these guys are a three out of 10. So uh, I really love these platinum preppies, just a f ton of fun and super easy to use. Next pen I just used a whole lot was the Bolograph Epaca. Uh, this was a pen that was new to me in 2018, even though it's been out for a very long time. I have a bunch of them now. They have a great click. They're very cool looking. This is the Lux edition or something like that. It just means it's black. It's all plastic body, so they're relatively affordable, maybe five, six dollars, and just a very classic look, very comfortable. Uh, you could put a Parker G2 style refill in it or just use a standard ball graph ballpoint. Just a great pen, super good looking, very practical day to day, just a lot of fun to write with. Then we have the Rotring 600. This is the Japanese re-release. This was new for 2018. And this pen for $30 is probably, if you're only gonna buy one pen this year, I would say this would probably be the one to get. Uh, Rotring 600, just that classic design. And with this re-release, it had almost no problems uh, or shortcomings compared to the original. Uh, minor change to the barrel here, but past that, you get all the quality of the original Rotring 600, which is one of my top pens of all time, and you can get it for about $30, $35, and it's available all over the place. Just a phenomenal deal, and it's so cool that these are finally available, uh, and you know, just finally available as in like widely available. You could have bought them off eBay for over $100, but now they're back and readily available at $30, $35. And this is the Lamy Tipo. This is a pen I bought just, uh, I don't even really know why I picked it up, just because I've been gaining more interested in Lamy pens, but uh, for $8 or $10 or whatever this was, it was just really phenomenal. I just like, it's super cheap and very uh, kind of industrial and minimalist, but I found myself really enjoying writing with it a lot, even though it's not super comfortable. I just, I like how lightweight and minimalist the, the design is. I have had actually really good luck with this Lamy M66 refill. And back in the back in the day, I had I didn't really like that refill, and now I've actually been enjoying it a whole lot. This was just a just a great pen and one of my favorite everyday writers of the year. Here we have uh, my favorite combination of the year. This is a I forget what this is. Well, I can tell you this is the Pentel Energel 
Infree, which is just that clear body limited edition Pentel. And then inside of it, I have a uh, Pelican. I believe it's a 337. I just want to get that right. Refill. And this is just a, sorry, 338. The Pelican 338 refill. And this is just a really nice rollerball refill. Uh, so great refill. It's a little expensive, $78. And this very cool pen body. And they combine to just do, uh, basically it fits in there natively. There's no customization or anything like that. So just a really nice fit, a very cool pen. And you could see the upgraded 338 in there. And it's a great writer, very cool looking. His infreeze were a pretty cool limited edition. Uh, you can get them now for a while. They were hard to get, uh, but you could pick some up now for about three or $4 each with some limited edition colors, but basically it's just a Pentel Energel retractable. Uh, I like that it fits that <clears throat> Waterman, uh, sorry, that Pelican refill. Then we have the High Tech Kalito C. Uh, this pen is, you know, for years now, it's been in my top pens and I really like the two ink refill size. I really like, because I like this body so much, it'd be nice to have more colors, but two is really ideal. And I just, I've always liked this body. I like the mechanism. Uh, I think this is just the classic multi-pen for me and one of my favorite pens of all time. One of the nice things about it this year is that I started using uh, some different refills in it in addition just to the standard Pilot refills. Uh, I've been using that Uniball style refill, which uh, is this one right here. And uh, you can see this one is the needle tip from Pilot, and here is the style from the Uniball 1.0 millimeter. And that's just a great, great refill, and it fits in there with limited customization. Basically, just chop the top off, and it'll fit. So that's the High Tech Kalito C multi pen <clears throat> with a Uniball style 1.0 millimeter refill. Super cool combination, and a great body. Another top pen of the year for me is this. This is the Zebra Sarasa Royal Silver. This is a limited edition. These are hard to get. At least I, I'm told they're hard to get. I got mine, no problem. And just a Zebra Sarasa Grand in this silver body. Just really cool looking pen. Uh, cost me about $16 to buy it. I've tried to buy more. They're not available. So uh, good luck if you're out there trying to find one. I have no idea who to turn to but I love the Sarasa Grand. My first one had a bad clip. This one doesn't. You can see the clip is almost parallel to the pen and it's pretty, a relatively low profile. In the past, my, my uh, the spring was like a sprung or whatever, so it looked ridiculous. But yeah, Zebra Sarasa Grand, very comfortable pen, nice weight, good balance, uh, just a, and in the Royal Silver, just that much better. And then this, this is the Pilot Acro 300. One of my favorite pens of the year, if not my favorite. Uh, just a great pen for $3, it's just phenomenal. Uh, it has some really nice design cues, like very, very subtle. Like you could see how thin the pen is and it gets wider at the grip area. Even though the grip's all the same material, it gets a little bit wider, which makes it that much more comfortable for extended writing nice really sharp click action metal clip super clean design just really nice and it comes in this translucent red which i think is quite cool and then on top of all that it uses the pilot acro ink which is a jet stream competitor which means it's uh like a hybrid but it's very quick drying and very well behaved it's just a probably my ideal day-to-day -day pen. Lastly, we have another ideal day-to-day -day pen. This is the Zebra Sarasa Dry. It's a very quick, quick drying, and it's a cool-ish looking pen, but I don't use it for its aesthetics. I use it because it dries so quickly and it's just so well behaved. Being a left-handed individual, uh, the fact that it dries really quickly, even in a 0.5 milliliter, I think is uh, really ideal for me. So I use this pen a fair bit. During the first half of the year, I used it a whole lot. It was kind of one of my go-tos in the 0.4 or 0.5. 
Uh, and then I really moved over more towards these Acro 300s, but both are ideal and the Sarasa is a lot easier to find. Uh, I prefer the Sarasa Dry, just because I think it looks a little cooler than the Sarasa SE, but they're the same pen. The Dry is just the Japanese version and the SE is the US version. So there you have it. Those are my pens of the year. I'd love to hear about your pens of the year. So uh, hit me up in the comments. Thanks for watching.